Hi everyone and welcome to another video with Francesco Espresso. Today uh, I have Agatha Hello. who has agreed to uh, support me with this mission of spreading art and self-expression. But before we go into further discussion, Agatha, would you like to introduce yourself, please, and tell us what is this, what is it that you do? Hi, uh, I'm Agatha, and I am a, a local artist in Kensington uh, and Chelsea, and I I'm studying at the moment a uh, degree in fine art, and I've been uh, uh, working in, with uh, different media. Uh, and I started since I was a um, young child with uh, experimenting with art. Since I was two, I was drawing, and, uh, and I start to express myself in different media as I start to grow uh, in my self-expression. And I'm very interested in the process and the techniques of uh, art, especially uh, printmaking and ceramics. I don't work with ceramics, uh, which I won't show you in this video particularly, but in this video I will concentrate on my works in printmaking and some uh, paintings or works on canvas that I've been doing for the last 3-4 uh, years and uh, yeah, uh, that's me so far, thank you Thank you Agatha, right, now, now let's move to the second question and it's uh, uh, as much I'm using YouTube, which is a, a platform, right, fair enough, but what I'm trying to do as well is to change a little bit the topic going from uh, such an, an abusive relationship that we have with the social media where everyone is showing perfect life, big smile, big celebration and no one is actually talking about uh, feelings, emotions, being vulnerable and all of that. Now, having said that, what I want to ask you is does your art and what you do help somehow expressing who you are with your feelings and your emotions? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, it reveals a lot of who I am and uh, uh, what I do with myself and uh, especially my relationship with the uh, with outside world. I, I have a special eye for uh, uh, the, um, the everyday and the object in the everyday as you can we see from my um, prints, uh, one of my favorite objects are like just common, uh, common news objects, you know, that you find in the, in the home or in the street. So I'm very interested on portraying what usually get overlooked. And uh, and then I've been uh, recently I've been working more uh, and with with moods and uh, feelings, which you will okay. see as well in the, my latest uh, paintings and uh, experiments. So this is your latest work. Yes, this is more. Yeah, not uh, not the latest, late, but at least like a uh, couple two years old. As okay. Well, like two years, one and a half year old, and that is the so, my newest Agatha, one. So Agatha, would you like to take us on a journey through your art and feelings? Okay, Francesco. Uh, so this is uh, this is this work I have done like uh, during uh, a course of time uh, between um, 2014 2015, and I was what I was doing uh, studying a pre-making course in Kensington and Chelsea College, and uh, what I was focusing on, on the, in those days. It was my relationship with the objects, with the everyday objects. So I produce a uh, body of work which uh, focus on, uh, yeah, which emphasize that aspect. So this is um, this is uh, the my desk, yeah. This is uh, the uh, desk. Pegs, and for me, it's, I got uh, uh, pegs, cloth pegs. Always remind me of this my childhood. Again, to represent the everyday. And uh, in here, it's uh, is a uh, this is market. a photograph that I took in Catania, in Sicily, uh, which is a Polaroid. Yeah, I like letters and numbers, and this was an exercise on uh, um, how to produce a work of art uh, with different this materials. This is uh, an abstract work as well that I, I produced. It was an homage to uh, to the Russian. Um, 
art and this time. is like uh, um, um, blisters, medicines that we in the everyday abuse and I and the stick on the on the canvas and then paint on top and or the same white. Yeah, my, the, my relationship with painting and paints in general as I found that even the the you know that the tube of paint it can be quite interesting Sticking as an object other objects on canvas and uh, keys I love keys and uh, I think they're quite a personal intimate object so what I've done is I stick these keys on the canvas and then I uh, put a lot of uh, texture on it so there's lots of texture paste almost like uh, blending with the okay, background this painting I produced during a time that I was a bit down, a bit depressed and uh, yeah this is like uh, the city I, I call this divided because again I was divided between light and dark and I choose to to represent the light uh, but, through uh, the gold I'm still working on this so there's different layers and um, I've um, I work a lot with texture paste and I paint the background in gold and then I, I paint it over with black and now I'm scratching the black to make the, the gold come out as to represent that uh, if you scratch the surface then you can get the gold out again Great, so thank you very much uh, Agatha that was really interesting, you know, to see uh, how can I say, when you were explaining about your relationship with objects, you know I uh, used to be one of those that I could not get rid of anything, you know, because everything had something kind of like emotional for me. So it's interesting, you know, to see how you translate that right, into so, art. Wow, wow. That was really interesting and I thank you. Now, uh, I would like to close it with the with a question where, um, because as I was explaining to you, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring to people like different ways of people self-expressing themselves trying to reach for those people who struggle to self-express themselves. So, um, do you have any word of advice for people who are struggling? Yeah, I would say if you're struggling to express yourself, I would just say just stop thinking and just do it. And don't think about the outcomes, if it's going to look good or if it's going to look bad, just do it. Uh, just throw uh, paint on the canvas or a piece of paper just don't think, uh, just do it I think that's the first step and then everything will come naturally so yeah, that's my greatest advice whatever you are, a painter or a writer or a video maker just do it don't think about any mistake that you can make because mistakes are part of the process mistakes are part of the learning there is no such a thing as mistake, so just do it and I'll leave it there. Thank right. you. Thank you very much for leaving it there. That was really great and inspiring. So yes, another artist is saying just put it out there. Don't worry about mistakes. It's a learning process. So again, thank you very much, Agatha. Now it's thank the you, moment Francesco. for me to close it the usual way. Just one thing. Remember to subscribe my channel, spread it, spread the word, share it on your social media. And if you want to be featured, just uh, get in touch and Remember, self-expression is freedom. Do not let anything or anyone stop you. Thank you.